Splatoon, a shooter from Nintendo, has finally hit store shelves. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you another entry into the Wii U is Awesome series. If you know nothing about this game, it features inkling boys and inkling girls that can turn into squids, trying to cover their map with various types of very cool guns and weapons in their own color ink. Now when it is colored in your own colored ink, you can actually turn into a squid form and travel faster in your own liquid to go around the map to try and cover the most percentage of the map possible. But there's also a single player mode. So majority of this game though is the online multiplayer matches I think that are four on four as it says right there. Now I didn't only just pick up the game today, I also obviously picked up the three amiibo pack that comes with the inkling girl, the squid, and the inkling boy. So I'll go over that and I'll actually unpackage this as well. And then I also got some other really cool, neat pre-order items that I'll go through at the end of the video because those are pretty fantastic. I'm pretty excited about those. Now, let's get to the unpackaging of the actual game first because that's what most people are really interested in. So let's just open this up for the first time. There's not many manuals anymore with Nintendo games, which is unfortunate, so I'm not expecting a whole lot in this unboxing, but at least we'll take a look at what the North American style packaging looks like in terms of the disc and in terms of maybe any little inserts that they do get. So let's just open that up. So there you go, there's the disc. The disc just has lots of different inklings or squids on them rather, I should say, and just says viewing the electronic manual. I hate this Nintendo, please bring back actual manuals. So there's the disc itself. The packaging looks pretty cool. The main colors on this one are orange and it looks like blue, but you can also use various colors throughout the game. Nintendo kind of decides on what colors they'll be and they actually said they'll release different colors of ink, like maybe even a gold or a silver at some point, or maybe some with sparkles or something. I'm not really sure. The side of this just says Splatoon simply and it's a picture of a squid on the side there. And then on the back, it tells you that there are four on four online multiplayer matches. Splatter enemies and claim your turf as ink spraying squid-like inklings in Nintendo's ultimate mess fest. Transform into a squid, there's single player story mode, and there's also local one-on-one -on -one duels. You can also use the amiibo, which is pretty cool. The different way you can actually control this is with a... You can use the Pro Controller, it looks like. Yeah, the Pro Controller, the new Wii U controller, which is great. You can use the Wii controller, I guess, with it, and the gamepad as well. So I think when you're playing local one-on-one, -on -one, one of you uses the gamepad, one of you uses the TV. So that's pretty cool. Beyond that, I can tell you that this game is getting an 81% on Metacritic score. That's pretty high. That is an A game. It's just barely in the A range, but I think with more time, when they do more things online, offer more maps, more multiplayer different things, and more settings, basically, I think the game will improve more and more. I would really like to see local two-on-two -two matches with this game. I don't know why that doesn't exist. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm wrong. So here is the Inkling set of three. This is pretty... A cool packaging. I love the background of this. Now I must say, I got this from EB Games, I pre-ordered it, and this one is just completely bent out of shape. It doesn't really matter, I'm opening this anyways, but the packaging looks fantastic. Just, it's interesting to note for no reason that this is not as thick as the Smash Bros one, so it's actually a little bit less thick. On the back, you have some really cool, like, just designs here. Inkling Girl, Inkling Squid, and Inkling Boy. Complete Splatoon, Amiibo, challenges to get exclusive in-game gear. So complete them. That's really quite fantastic. So let's open this up. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut around as I've been doing with all of my Amiibo figurines. And Splatoon is a game that I've actually never played before. I know some people were doing the online multiplayer matches as they came out, like the Global Test Fire, but I heard the Global Test Fire was actually just a mess because they were trying to get used to a bug or something like that. I'm not really sure exactly what went wrong, but it didn't really load online very well. It only lasted a few minutes. Not many people could actually play, but I'm sure they're resolving those issues with time. And that's also one of the reasons I think why Nintendo's being a little bit hesitant of going online with some of their major games, because they don't really want to deal with all those problems, especially when it's a free online service. If people were paying money, then they would obviously be dealing with it a little bit better, I think. But because people aren't paying money, then they don't really care. I mean, as much. They don't invest as enough towards it, it seems. So there we go. So let's just move that out of the way and put that over there. Here are the three, so we're going to pop that down. First, let's just take a look at the Inkling Squid. This thing is green. Looks pretty cool. All right, so this one has some shiny squid-like stuff. It's in a really neat pose, actually. You can see the tentacles on the back. The bottom of this is a black base, and it just says Nintendo. It has some other information made in China, if you're wondering about that. But this is really cool because it's a little bit shiny, and there's even little green spots on there. He looks a little bit angry as well. He's got some spark to him. That's pretty neat. I'll do the height and sizes of them in a second. Next, ladies first, I guess before the gentleman. Now these have great detail work, excellent. Pink shoes with some details on them with the turquoise laces it looks like. She's wearing shorts with a stripe of orange to match her hair. 
I like the gun she's using. It's one of the classic guns in the game. You can even see how much ink is actually in that gun. Now, just to note, you must go back into your own liquid in order to recharge and refill this so you can shoot it. Her hair is the tentacles. You can actually see that there are tentacles there on the bottom. And it's actually shiny, which looks a lot like Squid Forum. There is a seam that's right here, but she has great detail, great expression on her face. These are some of the most highly detailed figures that I've seen. Very, very well done. I love the splatter on the base as well. Looks really cool. And let's move on to the Ink Boy, Inkling Boy. This one has a very different style. I like how he has kind of his two squids in a ponytail almost. His two squids. His two tentacles. He's got a different expression on him. He's using kind of it looks like the same gun, but his is blue. You also have the ink container with the little filter right there. Great detail work on that. His shoes even have, it looks like a squid on them. There's blue on this base. These look really, really cool. I really like these. These are fantastic figures, actually. So just to give you an idea of the height of these ones... Let's give it in inches first. So the boy and the girl are both roughly three and a half inches tall, it looks like. Maybe 3.25 inches, whereas the squid looks like he's about 2.75, just shy of three inches tall. In terms of millimeters, of course, it looks like that is probably about nine millimeters tall, I'm sorry, nine centimeters tall, and the squid looks like he's seven centimeters tall. So those are absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of that. This cost me $40 in Canada, but I do think that set was pretty well worth it. That's pretty cool. The other thing that I got, I got a pre-order bonus from ED Games. This is a fantastic poster that's double-sided. It says Nintendo with a little symbol of the game kind of right there, or of Squidling anyways. It does say Splatoon. I love the art design here. This looks really cool. And then on the back, you have a completely different poster with some of the gang and their different gear. This game has a lot of different gear that you can actually dress in and change in. And there's a lot of cool stores within the game too, but I'm absolutely in love with that poster. I think the poster looks really, really obscenely cool. And then they also had t-shirts that all the staff was wearing, and I actually complimented one of them. They said, actually, we have a few of those for sale. So I was able to buy this t-shirt right here. Now, this t-shirt cost me $15 in Canada. I think it was worth it. It looks very cool. So it's the same blue and orange design, some of my favorite colors, especially orange, because I wear orange sometimes. It's pretty cool. This is Nintendo officially licensed. And then on the back, you have some ink splatters. So that's fantastic. I'm really excited about this shirt as well. So for $15, that's pretty cool, but I got a huge Splatoon package today. A poster, a shirt, three Amiibos, and the game itself, which I haven't even played yet. I'm looking forward to playing this one tonight. Please comment below, what is your opinion on Splatoon? Are you excited? Do you have any experience with it? Is it a game that you are probably picking up? Maybe it's a game you won't pick up? I must mention that there was always the Inkling Girl in its individual packaging, as well as the Inkling Boy. I did get those ones as well to keep sealed, because I want to keep some of them sealed. So that's really interesting. Comment below your thoughts on Splatoon, and thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.